It is about time. What's going on Snow Squid, it's your boy Snow and welcome back for another video here on the All-Star Tower Defense and say hi to my Namite, Namite and Namite and guys guess what we are currently on the top of the world yes guys you can clearly see it right you can clearly see it and wait wait what is happening okay there you go we are currently on the rank number one with only eight days remaining here on the leaderboard and yep shout out to my boy kuong because he is my duo mate and i think that he is still yeah he's still in the top 20 so kuong or kong i don't even know how to pronounce your name but shout out to you my boy but yes guys we did it we are now finally on top of this game but anyway guys on this video we are going to use the most expensive units here on all-star tower defense and i'm not even sure guys if this is even possible but i kind of already have an idea so let's not get into my bag i'm really sorry i have to say goodbye to you namate namate and namate let's now get into my bag okay so first things first i think the most expensive is oh yeah one of the most expensive will be mr flim flam and fujitora yes Kira, of course. Kira is also one of the most expensive. And also, yeah, Zoro, like Mihawk. For the final spot, that is gonna be one of the newest 5-star unit. Of course, another maxed out Tatsu, aka Natsu, 5-star. And guys, come on. Let me use our Bull Mama here. And wait, Bull Mama is not even maxed? Level 79? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna max out our Bull Mama. Maxed out Bull Mama is also in the house. Oh my god, this is probably the most OP roster that I would use here on these kind of challenges. Because, I mean, guys, our most expensive roster will be consisted of level 50 Doflamingo, maxed out Fujitora, maxed out Light Yagami, maxed out Mihawk, and of course, maxed out Natsu with the help of bull mama because i mean it's it should be obvious guys <laughs> that's gonna be really impossible for us to even place one unit well except for fujitora but anyway guys let's try to see how op the most expensive roster here on astd okay guys i chose the longest map here on infinite mode because pretty sure that we would not be able to upgrade our units that fast so i think i'm just gonna place our fuji here i mean we got bull mama anyway oh my god and by the way guys for those who are asking if i am going to upload our wave 59 run uh, aka the leaderboard run i'm really sorry guys i mean the strategy is not only mine if it was mine probably i would have done that already but i did not really own it and i think that if ever you are also in my position you guys would probably not also share the strategy because the slots are very limited it's only like 20 players so yeah in fact there are some other wave 59 players who actually got kicked out because i'm not even sure guys how the leaderboard really works if it's gonna be based on damage or i don't know i have no clue guys i already asked uh, sabi desu but he told me that he doesn't really have any idea about how how it really works but anyway guys we have here our fujitora and we're just going to upgrade fujitora probably up until he will get his semi -A i mean not not semi aoe what am i even thinking full aoe and after that probably we can start our bull mama farm I think that our biggest problem here would probably be those air troops, but we got Light Yagami, so I think Light Yagami should be enough. I'm just not sure, guys, where we are going to place our Light Yagami. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the reason why, even though this map is so long for infinite mode, none of those leaderboard players are actually playing on this map because Light Yagami would be really bad here not really only light yagami i mean you can just place your light yagami here he can still be as good as he is but the problem is guys 
remember that you have to buff your light yagami as well so yeah if this map has just like a lot of corners like around this one then probably this map would be the key for wave 60 run pretty sure about that because it's just way too long and that would give you like free one or two waves wave number eight in our fujitora will now have his full aoe and it's so laggy right now probably because of the map itself but yeah i'm just gonna max out our bull mama farm and i'll be right back okay let's start this madness guys max out bull mama farm wave number 15 and i think i'm just gonna place our wait nothing <laughs> dude i only have 400 plus and i'm gonna place i don't even know oh yeah probably just a mihawk here not gonna hurt us okay finally have some cash and by the way guys this is one of the best thing that when it comes to balancing guys this is one of those things that i really love about astd because if you guys will actually check each of the characters here in my roster they are expensive yes but all of them are good in their own ways let's say for example mr flimflam yeah he's a free five star unit from trials 3 and even though he's not really one of the most op but at least he is a very good unit and a reliable unit he just cannot really be a very good unit on um, infinite mode because you know like he is only single target unit but yeah at least that it is something you know and for fujitora you already know how good fujitora is um for light yagami a very excellent guys excellent unit for infinite mode it's very obvious and uh, for mihawk oh the monster dps when it comes to infinite mode monster hill unit and for not actually guys if we will receive like six star mihawk which would less likely to happen because i don't really think that mihawk will have another form but i actually got like two mihawks in the back but that would be really really great though if ever that would happen i'll just be placing all of our mihawks on these straight pathways because i mean obviously that would be his forte and this map has a lot of that kind of thing so um let me just do this and set them to wait should we actually set it to last yeah i think that this one especially this one set him to last and for this um the reason why i'm kind of thinking about if i'm going to place the priority to first or last is setting his priority to last will make him stay in this direction but the problem here guys is that what would happen to those decelerate units who will pass mihawk right so most probably we would not have a lot of um units here but i think that this mihawk would actually be a little bit of waste okay let me sell that mihawk i want to place our mihawk around oh yeah here mihawk here would be really insane bro this is gonna be really an op unit guys trust me especially with the size of this map we're already in wave number 20 and all of them are still paper and actually guys i'm gonna put all of our mr flim flam here in front because we can't really do anything about mr flim flam anyway he's only gonna be a single target unit so regardless i think that might as well just prioritize our mihawk later hopefully we will have enough cash to place every single unit here because even though we have like a maxed out bull mama farm i mean we have light yagami Light Yagami would take like 40k actually guys if you don't know 40,000 cash to be placed just only one Light Yagami I think that our um, Mr. Flim Flam would just do it like this so that he will just kind of be like um, secondary hill unit there you go wow they are so expensive I can't even save some cash by the way guys this is only wave number 22 I just wanted to ask you this question who among those anime characters that you know do you think can't possibly replace Bulma? Because, you know, like, Bulma is only a four-star unit. And it is not really impossible, guys, to get a five-star unit of Bulma. And at the same time, it's also possible for us to get another anime character that works kind of like Bulma, but better. But obviously, guys, even though I really love Namite, um, nah. She's just not that good when it comes to support. If you already have Bull Mama, unless that you can actually, you know, like create your own five star Nami, then it's just gonna be a waste, not gonna lie. Okay, finally, we now have placed and maxed all of our Mihawk here. Oh my God. 
And I think the next unit that I'll be placing would be our Natsu. Yeah, Natsu would be a very good unit. Uh, let me just place him here. Yeah, that would be perfect. That would be perfect for him. Okay, wave number 31 now and all of our Natsu are placed. And guys, look at one of our Natsu here. <laughs> He's literally welcoming these enemies with fire and flames. And oh my god. I think that there's actually a chance, guys, that we might reach wave 50 by this roster. Like, bro, seriously. Like this might be it. This might be the very first time that we will be able to reach wave 40 by doing these challenges. And I think, guys, I'm just gonna place some of our Light Yagamis. Yeah, but Light Yagami will be 40k. You know what? I'm gonna place Light Yagami last. Who cares? I'm gonna place our Fujis here. Hopefully our... Okay, yeah. His range will be perfect. Nice. Okay, another Fuji here. Bro, I'm so excited about the outcome of this. I think that less than wave 50 would be really a failure, not gonna lie. OMG, wave number 34, guys, and all of our Fujitoras are now placed. <laughs> it is now only gonna be our Light Yagami. And I think that it's really gonna be possible for us to place all of our units here, guys. There's a big chance that we will be able to hit wave 50, guys, even without Erwin because of the size of this map. And now the question is, where are we going to place our Light Yagami? I think that we cannot place... Oh, yeah, we can place here. Ah, wait, Max. Okay, this range is not that bad. Yeah, look at that guy. So he would be able to even reach this area. Only not this corner, but hey, yeah, I think that this is really possible. This is definitely going to be possible, guys. The only problem, guys, is we would not have any Light Yagami that would be able to cover at least this corner here. But it's not going to be wave number 36, guys. Mobs are now passing through, but I'm not even worried. I think that wave 45, yeah, that wave is the way that I'm thinking of that probably will be hard for our units. But bro, this roster is super OP. By the way, guys, for all of those people who are watching this video right now, who is your most expensive unit aside from Light Yagami? Because Light Yagami is just really, really expensive because of his death note. But yeah, who among these expensive unit guys is your favorite to use? Obviously, Light Yagami Mihawk is part of the infinite mode meta. So guys, I have a problem. I think that I misplaced all of our Natsu here. I think that I should have placed them a little bit maybe here on where I'm standing right now. But for now, I'm just going to place them on last. Yeah, I'm just going to place them on last. As long as every unit are burning, I think that's not going to be really a problem. But I'm going to, if ever we will have some extra cash later, I'm going to replace the Natsus here just to adjust them, you know, on their optimal placement. This mayhem here, OMG. <laughs> This is crazy. All of the units are burning. That's what I'm looking for in Natsu. Okay, 50k cash. We can now place another Light Yagami. Yeah, this is gonna be wave 50, guys. This is gonna be wave 50 plus run. I don't care what you guys are thinking, but I, I think that this is already a guaranteed wave 50 run. There is no way that we would not be able to reach wave 50 here. I am now going to take my words earlier. It's now wave 41 and they are now passing through. Bruh. That is a big rip. Only wave 41 and they're already passing through. But I love the effects though. I mean, it's so laggy right now, guys. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. Okay. Some of the units are now here. I really need to focus and probably help them by using our Meteor Strikes. Our Meteor Strikes would also be handy as long as we would not be able to miss them. Oh my God, so many effects. So laggy right now whenever we're placing our Meteor Strikes. Wave number 42, guys. And we are now almost 
at 40k cash so that means that's gonna be another light yagami soon after this wave this is crazy look at that look at the destruction over here guys they're burning and oh wait 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 hold up hold up oh yeah this one maybe now i'm gonna kill you guys no 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 um stay last okay meteor strikes just to clean up and another light yagami max the omg this is so laggy this is so laggy guys wave number 43 now and some of the air troops are now here as well i do not have any meteor strikes to help them wait what is the hp of these air troops yeah these air troops might be so tanky though all right light yagami now light yagami first light yagami three two one and come on come on once they reach probably this area this corner one two three and oh actually there are some air units maybe they would not die oh they will they will they will bam clean up Ooh, a lot of the units are not even dead i mean the enemies can we still not use meteor strikes again okay we not really have to be focused guys one light yagami is down and we can now place another light yagami wave number 45 guys wave number 45 don't forget to like this video if you also think that this is really crazy right now okay light yagami for these mobs three two yeah i'm gonna pop it early because they are so tanky okay they're gonna die nice two out of eight of our light yagamis well our light yagamis are not even completed yet okay, wave 45 oh i think that we are actually in trouble here okay light yagami three two one bam okay nice nice <sighs> three over seven light yagami oh wait a minute this air unit is still 20k bro for real okay there you go okay four out of eight light yagami guys and we can now place wait we still cannot this is only wave number 46 okay, we need to be ready on these mobs okay 19k yep they are going to die oh these air troops are so tanky I'm going to pop it in three, two, one. Bam. Uh, another one. Bam. <gasps> Bro, die! These air units are not dying. Okay, there you go. Wait, this is only wave number 48. How many light yagamis did we spend? Oh, all of our light yagamis. This is going to be the final light yagami, guys. Oh, dang it. And I even misplaced it dude are oh, i think that we're even gonna fail this run okay meteor strikes just to take care oh, 40k 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 no they're outside no wait are they gonna die oh yeah they are uh this might not even be wave 50 oh wait 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 wait, wait. we managed to clear everything yeah, this is wave 49 and I think that we would have enough time guys to just skip and get wave number 50. Let's go. Come on, decelerate. Just give it to us. They got like almost 100k. Come on, skip button. Oh, wave 50, wave 50. Give me the wave 50 now. There you go, guys. Hey, wave 50. 50 my man okay all right i think that they didn't really disappoint me <laughs> i knew it this map would really help us so there you go guys that is the power of the most expensive roster here on astd of course with the help of bull mama because it's not really going to be possible without bull mama for us to place every single unit in the battlefield but anyway guys if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe and I'll see you guys again on the next one. Stay cold. Peace out.